It's 40 days to the election. We are your election command center. Now, this afternoon, the NPP is accusing political science lecturer and UTAG UG president, Professor Ransford Jampo, of being in cahoots with the NDC to deny thousands of students the right to vote in the country. UTAG broke away from organized labor when the mother union, the Trace Union Congress, called off a strike action that was intended to pressure government to put an end to illegal and unethical mining. Now, last week, Utah UG voted against the next decision to end the strike tomorrow, October 29th. But in a statement, the NPP, without providing evidence of the collusion, accused Jampo of inciting the strike action in exchange of political appointment when the NDC comes into office. Despite the lack of evidence, the statement signed by the NPP's National Youth Organizer, Salam Mustafa, cautioned UTAG members not to allow themselves to be used by Professor Jampo and the NDC for their parochial interests. Well, now, let's engage further on the story. Salam Mustafa is National Youth Organizer of the NPP. He penned that statement released in the last few hours of this, this day. Uh, uh, Salam, talk to us about the statement. What is the evidence to back the accusations you have made? Uh, good afternoon to your viewers. So, if you followed... The statement very, very well. We have stated that the strike action is not with respect to failure on government to honor, you know, uh, labor union, specifically uh, UTAG, uh, any demand. And when the mother union, TUC, decided to strike with respect to the fight against Galaxy, and subsequent government uh, uh, interventions to deal with the matter. TUC itself pulled the brakes and said that let's give some time to see how the measures would work. If you want any evidence, it is not rocket science that if there's any good faith, since the mother union has pulled back, and virtually almost everyone agrees that let's all you know, come together as a, as a nation and fight this. If there's no collusion of a sort anywhere, no one will just get up and say, I stand alone. When everybody else is going right, I am going left. And we are quite aware, and it is a repeat of social media. When TUC decided that they were going to pull the brakes, the NBC were absolutely, you know, unhappy and went berserk on social media. And it is in, in federal to a political cause. If not, why were they unhappy? Even though government has decided, the government took action in response to what was being demanded. If they are still unhappy and still want the political action to take place, it is for us to bring it to the fore and let everybody understand that what is at stake now is pure politics. And I have said that it is travesty that thousands of students who registered while they were on campus are still sitting at home and virtually at the, at, at the, at, at the pinnacle of being denied their constitutional right to vote for absolutely no reason. And that is the trust of the matter. How universities are going to come back to, to, to school so that the academic calendar is not thrown off gear and ensure that both tuition is, is, is given to students and also they are, they are given their, their birthright of, 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 Hold of your thoughts for uh, me. Uh, 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 voting. Very well, to, Salam. To, to exercise their fight. It would so appear Salam can't hear are, me. But are, Salam, if you can hear me, I'm asking you to hold your thoughts because I want to find out from you what you have explained to us. It's already public knowledge that UTAC broke away from organized labor decision. The accusations you have made in your statement, you have not been able to back with any uh, evidence, as you stated in your statement, that the you have credible is information. Science. That is why I'm, I'm telling you that the, the strike itself 
is, 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 is unnecessary to the extent that they are not striking because of condition of service. But, but that, not that is not evidence of, of, exactly of Professor Jampo of being in cahoots with the NDC. What I'm asking you for is the evidence that Professor Jampo is in cahoots with the NDC to sway your votes on, on university campuses. You haven't been able to tell us that. Of course. I, I'm, I'm within the political space. There's a lot available to me. It's not everything I'm going to put out there. And we know what we are doing. Mm, I see. Salam, I I'm going to bring in now Dr. Jerry Joe Harrison. He's General Secretary of University of Ghana branch of UTAG. Doc, uh, the NPP says UTAG is being used by Professor Jampo and the NDC uh, to ensure that uh, thousands of students are denied their votes and in, and in other areas uh, for P Professor Jampo to get appointments in the, uh, within the NDC government if they come to office. Your reaction to that? Thank you very much and good afternoon to all our viewers. Um, if you can see, uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been laughing all, all along. Um, this is ridiculous, to be honest with you. And I, I find it strange that a party or, you know, of uh, Dubois and, and Kufos would have somebody like this as, as, a, as a youth or a youth organizer with, I mean, with, a, with a kind of reasoning that he gives. For the record, um, Prof. Jampo has been one of the advocates for the suspension of the strike. Um, when UG had a meeting, he, he spoke extensively about why we need to suspend the strike. But you talk members are independent thinkers. We are not idiot, excuse my language you know, to just follow somebody because the person said so. Unlike other labor unions where their leadership decide for their members, we as UTAG decide individually. And so when UG voted, we voted massively to say that no, we are fighting for a cause that is much bigger than ourselves. And so the idea that government is adamant is not enough to, to, for us to suspend the strike. And if, so if you go about um, saying that um, UTAG members are not independent thinkers mm. and therefore they can't decide for themselves and that it's Jampo that is deciding for them with the help of other people, it is really, really unfortunate. And I think the MPP party should call it youth wing to order because mm. that's insulting to say the least. How, well. how do you think that are not independent thinkers? Right, Doc. Uh, you know, outside of the uh, Professor Jampo in cahoots with the NDC accusation. It would appear that the statement is essentially saying that uh, because government has responded to organized labor's uh, demands, organized labor called off the strike, you have decided as you tag not to call off the strike. This whole demand and strike is political, politically motivated. Are you doing this for political reasons? I, I am very sure your uh, organizers know what is happening to our environment. Um, for the record, there is no organization in the world that has its membership doing research on every aspect of our lives like UTAD. And we, over the years, have been advocates of the environment, of the economy, of everything we hold dear. And so we have, over the years, assessed the situation and found that, look, the trajectory on which we are, which is political actors having found a way of using this mining as a means of funding their campaigns. Oh, it seem we lost that connection there. Let me get back onto the phone lines and speak to Salam Mustafa. If you just joined us, he is the NPP's national youth organizer. He signed that statement that made the accusations against UTAG. Uh, Salam, but when we yeah. look at the matter at hand itself, uh, don't you think the matter is too... Uh, Gravious, if it, so to speak, uh, for you to politicize the matter that the NDC is trying to score political points with this. Yeah. So before I come to to that, did I hear him say that is this the party of Edu Bahini and someone like me being the national youth organizer? Did he say that? He indeed he did. If I, that's a very silly uh, statement to make, and I wish he was on the line. Uh and I'll tell him that's a very silly statement to make. Oh, no, no, let, let, let's, let's hold off with the, with the personal attacks. Uh, let, yes, you, you, you're free to respond to my, him. Yes, let's hold off with, with my, the... my words. And if he's going to speak to me and he's going to be very con condescending, I will return the same language to him. He's no more intelligent than I am. 
I can equally be a university professor. I see. But, you know, let, let, let's, let's hold off on the personal attacks. Now let's go to the, the question itself. So the next fact time that you should speak with some sense. Salam, Salam, if, if we cannot speak with decorum, we'll have to end our conversation. You won't be able to reach out to the people you hope to reach out to, reach out to very, uh, via our yeah, medium. Yeah. Salam, Salam, yeah. the government yeah. of the day has not dealt with Galamse as we would want it to. The, yes, the president responded to organized yeah, labor and set Galamse up a task force. Uh, hang right. on, let me, let me finish. Let me finish, respectfully. Okay. Respectfully, let me finish. I'm saying that the government of the day indeed did respond to organized labor, set up a task force uh, to look into the activities of uh, illegal miners and those with licenses who are embarking on unethical mining. But you recall that UTAC's position has been on the fact that, listen, uh, we don't think that what has been done is enough. Much more needs to be done to ban the exercise so that... Uh, our water returns to normal uh, at, at best. You're saying that this is not important enough, but you go after uh, Professor Jampo, who, according to Dr. Jerry, has mentioned before that really it's important to call off the strike while government works on this. Why would you go after such a person? That, that's okay. I am not going after anyone. We are all in sync when it comes to protection of our environment, water bodies, and so on and so forth. I am absolutely for it. That's why I said that it's a nationalistic call that we all believe in. And we are all in sync to ensure that our environment and water bodies are protected. Uh, government, I like, uh, 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 actions have been taken, you know, and, 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 and so forth. So it's not as if someone is sitting down and not doing anything. Government is not doing anything. Like I said, the fight against Galamse is not an event. It's, it, it's a process. It, it's going to take time because these things, you know, I've been, I've had, you know, calls to go to the bush to understand exactly, you know, how these things operate. And you'll be, you'll be amazed. Your, mm. your sense of understanding would completely change when you go to the bush and why it has become very difficult to fight the canker. It's not as if, you know, uh, uh, they are doing, it, and that's what the picture has been created. I think before the NPT came, there was no galancy in this country. There's, there's, there's been galancy in this country all this while. But of course, we cannot say that mind. it should continue. Once it is becoming detrimental and existential threat to all of us, we should do all we can to ensure that we're able to nip it in the past. Mm. And, 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 and that sounds good, Salam. Do so. Yes. Uh, that sounds good, Salam. But do you see how the statement you released in the last few hours unnecessarily politicizes this matter and impugns the, the integrity, the integrity, integrity of Professor it, Jampo? Unfortunately. I am not the one politicizing it. Unfortunately, I am not the one. It is the action that gives it a political color. And that's why I am, I am bemoaning it and, and saying that we should not take the tangent of politics. It will not help all of us. Mm. And I repeat that it will be a travesty if, you know, we are not able to recall schools and allow, uh, you know, the students to get back on campus, you know, to continue with Very their well. academic pursuit and also, you know, exercise their constitutional right to vote. That is the point Indeed. we are making. And that's, so that's, 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 it will continue. Very well. Salam, would you also agree with me that in the course of this conversation, you have not been able to provide evidence that Professor Jampo is in cahoots with the NDC? I have given you the next, I have video of Professor, of Professor Jampo on, 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 on your sister network, dishing heavy, unprintable uh, words on, 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 the, on the MPP and, 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 and our presidential candidate. I can give you a plethora of evidence of the stance of people. So, when they speak, we understand where they And when you, you know, uh, 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 take an action, that's the truth, that shows it is politically motivated, we say so. And of course, I'm aware of so many conversations that happen that I will not tell you on air. But we are quite aware of a lot of things that happen. And that's mm. why we think that this matter should be brought to the fore. Let's all discuss it in good faith and in good judgment. Very well, because Salam. at the end of the day, it is for all of us as a people and not a, 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 a select few. It's about the collective interest of all Ghanaians. Very well, Salam. I'm afraid we are out of time. We'll have to leave it here. But thank you so much. Salam Mustafa is National Youth Organizer of the NPP. Still with me is Dr. Jerry Joe Harrison. He's General Secretary of University of Ghana branch of UTAG. We lost him earlier while he was making a point. Uh, uh, Doc, you know, again... Uh,
hopefully you're not going to respond to any personal attacks uh, or in any personal form. Let's target the matter. Uh, Salam says, look, they have evidence that they cannot re reveal to us that indeed this strike by UTAG is political. Where do we go from here? Well, I mean, just for the record, le let Ghanaians know that um, for UTAG to decide on any course of action, every member of UTAG cast a vote in support uh, uh, or otherwise of it. And in this instance, um, members are currently voting. And so the assertion that one person can hold all of UTAG to ransom is really not possible. And it's quite ridiculous, to be honest with you. And so I, I think we should leave it there. Um, this matter is something that affects you and I. Mm. Uh, our futures are at stake. We, as members of UTAG, have been doing research on every aspect of it. We found that where we are, every day counts. And every day that government refuses to act, we are going in a ditch. And as elders in the house, we simply cannot keep quiet. And that is why members across all the campuses keep voting to sustain the strike. We will use this constitutionally mandated or constitutionally legitimate means to express our dissatisfaction. The tax force that has been deployed has not done its work. We've, we've heard all the media reports about them being shown where to go, where not to go, you know, and all those kind of things. It hasn't worked, and we think that there's more that government can do. Um, we believe that the government's unwillingness to tackle this matter is because it has become a means of funding political activities, and mm. we cannot do this at the expense of our lives and future. Very well. Otherwise, future will not be kind to us. Very well, Doc. We'll leave it here. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Thank you very much. Uh, Jerry Joe Harrison is General Secretary for UTAG UG, uh, ending our conversation on the latest uh, development in the fight against Galam Say. You're here on News Central. When we come back, we'll bring you more stories from across the country. Don't go away. <laughs>